Good evening, everyone. It is Stephen and Andrea from Pin in the Atlas. We were just driving up this road, looking for somewhere to camp for the night. As you can see, we're way out in the middle of nowhere. So we could definitely find a spot, but we rolled up on this. It looks like one of those places the military would practice, like their urban uh, urban warfare. I don't know, there, I know there's a, a proper term for it. I'm sure I didn't get that right. Now, I don't think this is a practice bombing range, um, but if you look on the ground, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of spent bullets. They're just lying around everywhere. Dozens and dozens and dozens of them. Now, this place, didn't have any signs. It's not gated. Uh, there's no no trespassing signs. We didn't cross any fences. Uh, we crossed a couple of cattle guards and that's it. So let's take a look. And here you can get an idea all the, the shelves lining the ground here. And uh, they just continue on. They're almost as, as abundant as the rocks on the gravel here. There's a few different sorts as well. Now, being from England, I don't have any idea about guns, bullets, ammunition or anything. But uh, you can see that there's a, a smaller one and I'm sure people will be able to tell us. The caliber. Yeah, the caliber. Oh, that's hot sand inside that. Don't, don't know how long they've been out here for. I mean, they look pretty old. And then, of course, we don't want to get another puncture. So I'm going to just toss that to one side. Let's take a look in one of these buildings. Now, these are um, shipping containers that they've put together. Have some makeshift uh, windows and things. These are very popular and people have been starting to turn them into homes and things. We've passed a few. Well, I guess they're very solid, aren't they? Solid, waterproof. And I mean, absolutely zero graffiti and zero rubbish. Oh, well, a well, couple of beer cans. But I mean, considering. Yeah. Let's have a little walk up here. I mean, but I'm really surprised it can't be still in use as a one of those ranges because there are so many uh, off-road vehicles driving around i mean we've seen quite a few there's bullets in here too yeah we've seen quite a few atvs see their dust trails and oh some stairs let's see where these lead Very solid. So would this be a shipping container on top of another shipping container? Yes. Again, a couple of dozen bullets. Oh, and there's even some smaller, some smaller ones. Again, don't know what these are. So with with these, especially if they're doing training, they don't use live ammunition. So I don't know if those are some type of blanks. Dummy. Yeah. Dummy ones. Oh, first bit of graffiti on the floor, but really nothing. Oh, and these ones are, these ones are bigger. 
don't know if Pete can get those. Bizarre, but there's about, a, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 different buildings. Let's go sit out on the patio. And these actually would make ideal homes, like you said. They do, very sturdy. Instead of like a little maze of them over there. And you can see, yeah, just by this, the configurations you can make with them. You know, that circle, so you got a nice courtyard in the middle and then you can put some on top. You can make mansions out of these. And even bury them underground. Cool. Oh. And here's the view from the patio. Go up one more level, huh? And then you've got a sun deck. I'm not going to climb right up because I haven't got the right shoes on. We weren't expecting this. I've still got my flip-flops on. Not a good idea. Okay, we've just left from there. Come out to the back side. Here's another little courtyard area. Again, dozens and dozens of different bullets. Now, what are these clips? Because there's a huge pile of them. What would these clips be for? Okay, rounds would be clipped in there. Yeah? As I said, I know zero about guns. But again, very clean, very little rubbish. So these would obviously be, like you said, 100% waterproof and stormproof. Mm-hmm. And that's why, you know, goods are shipped overseas in them because they're, you know, all the stories about ships that hit those massive storms and some of these containers go overboard. So some of these, or a ton of these, are sitting at the bottom of the ocean somewhere. Full of goodies. Full of goodies. <laughs> It's a very simple one. One thing that I will say though is it's, they're very hot. Oh, this is like a little maze. Oh, someone's had a campfire. And there's also... Well, I think uh, this would be, because these could, like if you're doing full-blown simulations for a war in an urban setting, then that could be filled with like smoke to create the actual fire, fire of the yeah. building burning. Lots of um, hinges everywhere as well. And I think, I mean, they're just all different sizes. Yeah, I'll take a peek in this one. Oh, this one's interesting. This one going to be the same? Yep. Well, this one's got a window in it. Oh, so these got the same little design. Empty on this side. Very dark. Along this side, we found the petrol station. How much is it? Let's say 525. My God. What? Five cents. <laughs> Five cents. There we go. That's better. So totally fake. And I'd imagine this is meant to be the garage. Any snacks? <laughs> You've got the open thing. So you could, I mean, this rolls down. I wonder when the last time it was used. Must have been quite a while ago because I uh, said so this road's a public road, albeit a dirt road. Yeah, like I'm, ass I'm assuming they would have ways to shut a section of it off for 
if they're doing this type of training. Should we take a look at those quickly? You may be able to tell from the paintwork, but we've now entered a different country. Look at how different these buildings are. They've even got painted bricks on the side. Somebody put a lot of work into these. Grenade. That would be my guess. Oh, don't pull any punches, do they? No. 